guys, Christina Marie here. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today we're going to be talking about what to wear to a holiday party in terms of beauty. So face, eyes, lips. That's what I'm going to focus on. Mainly lips because for me, I believe lips are the life of the party. Your face can be jacked up, toe up, but honey, a few coats of mascara and a red lip or a lip pop of color on your lips, fine, fierce, and fabulous. So let's go ahead and talk about a couple of lip products. I have some high end and I have some drugstore, so I'm going to talk about both. This is actually a hybrid. The lipstick is drugstore, but the lip gloss is high, is a uh, high end. So I'll get to what that is when we come to those products. So the first thing I want to talk about, because for me, like I said, classic red lip for me is the life of the party. I will typically wear a red lip to a holiday party or a New Year's party or whatever. So first recommendation is the OCC Lip Tar and Stalker. I'm not going to swatch this because it's very clear what it looks like right here in the tube and it gets a little messy if I don't have the brush and it's over there somewhere. But yes, this is an excellent color to wear. A little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to slop it all over your face. A little bit goes a long way with this. It is highly pigmented, it lasts for a long time, and it just it's a beautiful, beautiful blue-based red, and it's just killer. Then, a couple of other red lips glosses. I definitely love glosses these are from matte cosmetics these are actually limited edition so these are probably aren't these probably aren't around anymore but that's okay red lip gloss is pretty easy to find you can find it you know many many places there are other high-end brands and even uh, drugstore brands that have red lip glosses these are just the ones that i like to use this is strawberry malt from the archie's girl collection from matte that mac that came out i think over the summer and this is um riri woo lip gloss that came out a couple of months ago and so this is actually what I have on top of my drugstore lipstick so I love this it's a nice bright red and then you put Riri Woo right next to it and they're just really really beautiful red colors so then moving on to darker colors a little deeper you know purple colors fuchsias we have Rebel from MAC as well. This is, if you want to go dark and sultry, this is a really, really good color to wear. I love this color. It screams, you know, party as well. Just, it's really, really pretty. It's a nice plummy purple. And this is actually a little safer, I think, than the red color. So if you're not quite into the red, you can go this route. It's a little darker, a little more normal, quote unquote, a little less risque. Then the next color is one of my favorite amplifies and amplified uh, finishes in MAC are very loud and very bright and this is Girl About Town. Beautiful, beautiful pink color and uh, the cool thing about amplifies, especially for me, you don't lose any of the color because of your own lip color. Like my normal lip color is um, like a brownish pink and my lips the color of my lip does not halt the color of the amplified lipstick if that makes sense so this is the color that will appear on my lips and it is very bright and vibrant and va va voom this is a little riskier than rebel of course but i love it and especially with a darker liner on the lips like a darker pink liner oh that would be fabulous moving away from mac let's talk about some more lip glosses these are both from marc jacobs this first one is one that I hauled uh, for my Black Friday haul. This is a lip gloss in Boom Boom from Marc Jacobs, like I said. It would be fabulous on top of that Girl About Town or by itself. Look at it by itself. That is a beautiful, beautiful pink fuchsia. Let me actually swatch it next to Girl About Town so you can see how well they would pair together. Oh, they would be phenomenal together. Look at that. So that's Girl About Town from MAC, and then this is Marc Jacobs Boom Boom. That would be perfect. They, you could wear them together or separate, but it's fabulous, and I think that you couldn't go wrong with either one. Then the next color from Marc Jacobs is another lip gloss, and this one is called Truth or Dare. This is a deeper color. It's a purpley plum for people that aren't necessarily, you know, ready to be bright in their lips. Um, this would be a good color to wear. It's a nice deep purple right here and it's 
fabulous on the lips. A nice deep winter color. I love this. So it depends on which way you want to go with it. There are tons of options for everybody. And then the final high-end product that I have is from Dior. This is number 786, Mauve Mystery. It's French, so I'm not going to say it French, but I'm, I don't want to swatch this because it's so pretty, but it's a gorgeous purple. It is simply fabulous. Look at that. And it has some shimmer in it. And you would really, if the light could hit this properly, I guess I will swatch it so you can see, but it's just absolutely divine. Oh, look at that. It reminds me of a L'Oreal color that I've owned before, but I can't find it anymore. But look at how beautiful that is. This camera is really not doing it justice because there is a beautiful pinkish shimmer to it that you kind of can't see. I'm trying to see if the light will hit it. Not really, but trust me, this is a fabulous color and it may look timid and it kind of... It's not as risque as, you know, the brightest red or the brightest pink, but the shimmer in here makes people's heads turn and you will get questions. What color are you wearing? I love this. So moving on to the drugstore. I have mostly one brand here, but I do have one Maybelline lipstick and one CoverGirl lipstick. I'm not really the biggest fan of L'Oreal, so I didn't throw that in there. So let's go ahead and start with the Maybelline. This is another deep dark color that will turn people's heads. This is number 1005 in Midnight Plum. I believe this was limited edition, but I think you can still get it. Look at that. Woo! Woo hoo hoo! I wear this all the time. I love this color. I just think it's phenomenal. And it's just the deep, deep plum purple. And I really think it takes a lot of confidence to wear this kind of color. So, yeah. Next color is from CoverGirl. And I'm not really a fan of CoverGirl lipsticks, but I could not turn this one away. This one is called Embrace. It's similar to the Dior color. Very similar, except the Dior color doesn't stain your lips like this one does. But this one here, this is Embrace, and this is the drugstore version. Let me swatch it next to the Dior version so you can see what the differences are. But yeah, that is the CoverGirl version in Spellbound. Is that what I said, Spellbound? No, 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 Embrace. Yes, very similar to Dior, but I like the Dior formula better. There's Dior, and there's Embrace. Pick whichever one you like, but I guarantee you that the CoverGirl one will stain your lips. So if you don't mind your lips being this color, go ahead and have at it. Otherwise, go with the Dior. Yes, it's about a $30 price difference, but you get what you pay for. But I love both. Oh, look at that. Look at the light hitting. Very gorgeous. Okay, and then the rest of my lipsticks are all from one brand. They're all from Milani, and one of them is what I'm wearing now. Let me show you. This is Red Label number 05, the Milani Color Statements. This is what I'm wearing right this very second, so I'm not going to swatch it because it's on my face. Very, very satiny matte. I mean satiny matte. <laughs> satiny red color. The reason why I said matte is because the next one I have is number 07, Best Red, and Best Red is matte. So I actually will swatch both of them so you can see the differences. So this right here is Best Red, this nice matte color. Very pretty. I love both, but like I said, I'm on a I'm on a really glossy kick. And then the one next to it here, this is Red Label. So see the finish, you see how the light hits. That one has more gloss than that one. So it really just depends on which one you want to wear. They're the exact same color, really, in my opinion, even though this one looks a tad bit brighter. But um, this one's glossy. Or this one is like a satiny gloss finish, and this one's a matte finish. So what is this? Red label, best red, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, the matte is best red, and the uh, one I have on is red label. And these are like five bucks, five, six, seven bucks at a uh, drugstore. Then three more lipsticks. This one right here, oops. This one right here is number 16, Flirty Fuchsia. You know I have to throw a fuchsia in there. 
This one has a little bit of shimmer to it. I'm gonna just swatch them, all three. All right, so let's go ahead and look at these swatches. So, boom, this one is called Flirty Fuchsia, this nice pink one right here, very, very beautiful. This one is Uptown Mauve, and this is Sangria. These colors are excellent party colors. I think they would be fun to wear. And they're each different in terms of personality. You know, different people wear different colors for various reasons or whatnot. But I could pull off either one of these, as I'm sure a lot of you can too. But you just pick the one you love. But I just, I'm obsessed with these colors and they would be perfect. They look like a lot of fun. They look very fun and very festive. And that's what you want to have at this holiday party slash New Year's party. So those are my lip suggestions. Now I just want to recommend a couple of things for those of you who are not necessarily into lipstick, but you're like really big on eyes and face. I have a one or two recommendations for you. So let's say uh, you just want to have a nice glowy face. You just want to have a nice brightness to your face. Um, then I recommend a face powder. I recommend something. It's not doesn't necessarily have to be the one I'm going to recommend to you, but something that makes your cheeks glow, that makes you look bright. You know, I'm like a nice little pregnant lady who's glowing. I don't know why I said pregnant lady, but you get what I'm saying. I personally love the Hourglass Ambient Powders, Ambient Lighting Powders. This is the one I have here in Radiant Light. And for me, this serves its purpose. Like I just love this powder. Like, and the way that the light hits it, look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, so, so pretty. And you just need a little dusting on the orbital bone, on, you know, the temples, bridge your nose, cupid's bow. That's all you really need. And it's simply beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it. But these run for $45. So depending on how much you want to spend just to look glowy, you may want to go a cheaper route. Up to you. Next are eyeshadows. I just like a bold eye. If you're not going to go with a bold lip, go with a bold eye. And nothing can, nothing screams bold for me than the Smoked Palette from Urban Decay. I love this palette. You can create beautiful looks. For me, I think for the holidays, I would go with like a green or a purple. Oops, that fell out because I knew it would. That was stupid. Back. I would go with like this purple or just, I wouldn't go with the blue. I don't know. Blue for me doesn't really go scream holiday party for me, but it's up to you. I really love the green and the purple and you can smoke it out with these various colors. You can even use this color and go with a brighter angelic looking eye like these colors up here. But definitely the green and definitely the purple are excellent options. But this palette as a whole is a great palette to have because you can just create all kinds of smoky looks with it. And if you want to go dark and sultry, this is the perfect, perfect palette for you to have. I recommend either, you know, having a big bold eye or big bold lips. My preference is big bold lip. Don't do both. I don't necessarily recommend both. But you know, do you, if you look good in it, great. If not, then you probably shouldn't, but yeah. So those are my recommendations for beauty things at a holiday party. What to wear on your face for a holiday party. I hope that was helpful. I feel like I kind of rambled it a little bit, so I'm probably gonna be editing this like mad, but yeah, comment down below. And subscribe for more. I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 9. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Bye, guys. Go party it up. Mm. 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 Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.